Hey guys, welcome to Miniature Adventures. Sorry it's been a while. I haven't been too well. Life's just been a bit crazy. We do have a video coming out soon for the uh, Hero Quest um, Rise of the Dread Moon unboxing. Plus everything that we saw at Gen Con and my whole Gen Con video. It's just a beast to kind of format and I just honestly haven't had time. So today I want to talk about the Dread Veil die set that's coming out with the, scr the uh, scroll dice mat and storage. This is fantastic. I got it. We will be doing an unboxing so you can kind of see it in person. These are fantastic. You got these at Gen Con if you purchased Rise of the Dreadmen there and then. And a lot of the community thought that they were just going to be Hasbro, ex um, sorry, Gen Con exclusives. That seems to be not the case. It really seems that they've finally releasing so according to a post on the um, Avalon Hills um, fan page basically these will be available starting 4 p.m. Um, EST today I guess is is pretty much that so this is great so let's take a look and I can kind of give you my thoughts as I've seen them in um, in the flash let's speak. so let's actually go to this one this is a better view this is great. So on the left hand side you can see a zipper. That is pretty much to store the dice. Now, I haven't tried to store every dice you can get for Hero Quest, which includes the, the base game, these, and the uh, Frozen Horror. I also have extras from the, the Hasbro Pulse uh, crowdfunding site, so I don't know if these will handle basically hold all of those, but maybe just the base kind of sets, the, the, not the extra stuff. Either way, I just think it's fantastic that we're getting these. I'm kind of surprised why they weren't in the box. That to me just seems like they're trying to get more money. Um, but I'm not, I mean, I got it free, so I'm not complaining. But if I wasn't, then I'm kind of like, oh, it doesn't actually add much to the game. So, but I guess if you're going to get the dice mate, you got to yeah, throw in a new set of dice as well. But you actually, I think, buy them separately. So these are the dice, pretty translucent. Imagine the Frozen Horror ones, if you haven't seen those, pretty much, like I say, translucent, with a purple kind of galaxy hint, because moons, you know. Um, all the same symbols, all the same matter symbols on the dice, they're just a different type. I think this is kind of cool to, you know, add that theme to the game. Um, you know, so as you go through, you can use different dice, and I do like that, I, I, I do. Um, I think it's more a gimmick than anything else, unless you really are into the theme. Now, the scroll does scroll up, as you can see behind the dice, um, and it, it poppers closed, and so it, it pretty much does um, contain everything you need, and then you can roll it, so your dice don't get scratched on the table, or your table doesn't get scratched on the dice. The set itself comes in this little tin. Um, they're hard to get out. Like you'll see in one of the unboxings, they're really hard to kind of get out of there without damaging the foam too much, I felt. Like I do have fat fingers, but I felt that they really were kind of hard. I like the case, I like the storage um, like tin for it, that to me is kind of cool. Again, I'm not sure how much it adds to the overall game, but I think it does kind of, just gives that extra little bit of Sorry, sipping some tea. Of uh, extra little nuances to the game. You know, that, that little flair there. Um, I say we've got an unboxing of Dread Veil. So, you know, kind of, um, this is stuff that wasn't released originally. I mean, the original Hero Quest was just the white dice and the black dice, I believe, um, that are wooden, and then one red dice for movement, or two if you're in the US. Is it one or two? I think it's two, actually, for both. But, I mean, on the whole, like I said, if you look here, plenty of room to roll your dice. And then, you know, players, I guess, could bring their own dice when they're ready to come play. You could, in theory, store your character sheet in there and just come to the session pre purchased and roll it and, and plonk it in there. The material um, looks here and, and feels to me like either faux leather or, or real leather, but it's, it's indistinguishable. And on the whole, um, it's, it's a nice layer, it's nice and soft, the dice kind of roll nice across it. 
uh, they don't seem to be too impeded by the felt um, base. But yeah, I mean, there's not much more we can say about the the Dyson story set. If you're a collector, um, then yes, absolutely get this. But if you just kind of like play it with your kids and things, I don't know if it would be worth it um, to get. Unless you're a collector slash completionist, uh, which I really am. <laughs> but on the whole, it pretty much is a, is, is a good thing to kind of um, add. I know I kind of flipped back and forward as to whether you should or you shouldn't get it. But it, I guess, again, like I say, it all just depends on, on what you want from the game and, and things like that. Um, but yeah. That is it guys, it's not really a long video, I'm sorry, like I say, we've got our Gen Con video coming out soon, which covers all four days, um, we've got our um, unboxing of Dreadvale to come, we also have an unboxing of Star Trek Ascendancy, um, so hopefully look for those coming soon, we will see you soon, and keep rolling those dice. dice.